I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. I didn't kill her, and make sure you say I'm innocent. That's what Adelis Cruz said to our photographer as he was escorted out of an Ulster County courtroom this morning following his arraignment on a second-degree murder charge. The 49-year-old town of Ulster man pleaded not guilty during arraignment proceedings in connection with the strangulation killing of Kingston jewelry maker Anita Jacobs Royer. Her body was discovered inside her residence February 1st. A motive for the killing has not been revealed. Cruz continues to be held without bail in Ulster County Jail. This was the scene in the city of Newburgh back on October 15th. A street memorial was set up outside the Game Time Bar on Liberty Street, the place where 23-year-old Newburgh resident Justin Doctor was gunned down during a dispute that turned deadly outside the bar the night before. Now comes word of an arrest for the killing. Newburgh police say they've charged 21-year-old Charles Alexander of Newburgh with second-degree murder and criminal possession of a weapon. Alexander was being held for arraignment later today. Several shots were fired during the incident, and early on in their investigation, police recovered three handguns and arrested five others for weapons possession. State police investigators say he posed as a 30-year-old man and befriended a 13-year-old girl on the Internet. Then, after developing an online relationship with her, 51-year-old Arthur Bielowitz, Jr. of upstate Ontario County, New York, drove to Orange County where he uh, met the girl and then uh, took her to a secluded area park where he forced her to have sexual contact with him. Following a four-month-long investigation, Bielowitz uh, was arrested Tuesday in Ontario County and then returned to Orange County where he was charged with first-degree criminal sexual act, first-degree sexual abuse, endangering the welfare of a child, and unlawful imprisonment as well as disseminating indecent material to minors. He was scheduled to be brought to town of Walkill Court today after being sent to Orange County Jail on $100,000 bail. Elsewhere, town of Lloyd police have decided to suspend the member of their department whose gun accidentally fired uh, while he was patrolling Highland High School back on Tuesday. Part-time officer Sean McCutcheon has uh, been placed on leave as school resource officer while the police department conducts its investigation. McCutcheon's pistol accidentally discharged while he was walking down a school hallway. No one was injured. Uh, the school district has put the resource officer program on hold pending the con conclusion of the investigation. Its fans love it. Its opponents call it deplorable and brutal. Now mixed martial arts cage fighting has moved a step closer to legalization here in New York State. The state Senate has passed a bill to allow sanctioned MMA bouts, still standing in the way the needed approval in the Assembly, where the future of the bill this year is uncertain. Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver has said legalization of MMA could provide a needed uh, revenue stream for the state. In the meantime, a cage fight will be held across the border at the Best Western Inn in Matamoros, Pennsylvania on Saturday, May 4th. Things continue to pick up at Middletown's Paramount Theater on the heels of the announcement that the Paramount uh, will serve as home to the Hoboken International Film Festival this spring. Comes the news that the city-owned theater will start to show first-run movies again, beginning Friday night with the showing of the film Quartet, starring Maggie Smith. First-run film viewing hasn't happened there in more than 30 years. Middletown Mayor Joe DiStefano says it's a sign that the Paramount Theater has come full circle. And the Burke boys get to play more basketball. The Burke Catholic Eagles moved a step closer to a coveted state basketball title after defeating Poughkeepsie 67-58 in the first round of the Class A state tournament last night at Mount St. Mary College in Newburgh. Stan Busick uh, led the way with 23 points and 11 rebounds. He told Record Online sports reporter Doug Mohart uh, they were fortunate to hang on after nearly losing a 14-point fourth-quarter lead. Kind of a crazy ending. You guys got up big and then, then it kind of whittled down. What, what were you guys thinking and what was going on? Um, I would say we're probably not as boys as we should have been. Turned the ball over too much. I think the pressure was getting to us. But um, down the stretch, I think we found ourselves to just pull it out. The Burke Catholic Eagles will now play Maine and well in the state quarterfinals coming up on Saturday in Binghamton.
You may need to do some shoveling when uh, you head out tomorrow morning. The forecast calls for some wet snow overnight, possibly two to four inches of accumulation by early Friday morning around here. As for Friday, the day will begin with clouds and a little leftover light snow, but the sun uh, could be breaking through by afternoon. Temperatures should reach 40 degrees. Big improvement coming up this weekend with temperatures up around 50 degrees Saturday under a mostly sunny sky. Well, stay connected to the latest news and weather information here at Record Online and get a complete look at all that's happening by reading the Times Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.